So at Supermotion, we're really interested in new technologies, and that includes AI. And obviously, there's a lot of controversy and ethical questions coming up there, but we still like to test everything out. Now, we found a tool recently that will potentially really speed up some of those early stages of production, whether that's on an LED stage or if that's an animation with a small remote team or even a large one. So we want to take a look at that today. This is what this video is about. Welcome to the exciting world of Kubrick. Uh, this is a revolutionary new software tool that uses AI to streamline virtual production workflows. So the company Sehan Lee partnered with XR Studios in LA and what they both saw in Kubrick was the potential to iterate on and test out virtual production setups much faster. What's important here is to say that this is about saving time but not about replacing artists with AI. And the makers of Kubrick have made that very clear to us in a podcast that we recorded with them very recently. So in the time that it would take you to do, say, a pencil sketch for a single frame of a storyboard, Kubrick will actually generate, segment and export plates to create uh, environment backdrops for a 3D tool like Unreal Engine. As you probably know, virtual production is a rapidly growing field and Kubrick could be a game changer in the virtual production world. So I'm excited today to show you how it works as Sky from Sehan Lee walks me through the product. In a future video, a couple of us from Supermotion will be using Kubrick to iterate on some environments and basic scene blocking for an animation we're actually working on. For now, let's dive into an introduction to Kubrick and learn the workflow. Here we have a Kubrick user interface. And for now, everyone can access Kubrick through the browser and they log in with the credentials that we provide. Okay. And the first thing you'll see is image generation. And here comes in uh, a lot of prompting. And that's a, already an art for on its own. <laughs> it takes quite some time to figure out um, the right way to build up a prompt to actually get something out that makes sense and that looks good. And then in addition to that, there is a bunch of settings that can really influence the image big. So you need to uh, either experiment with it quite a lot, or you need to have uh, already some uh, experimenting done in the past with prompt engineering and, and figuring out all these settings. So is this mid This is an image I just generated like 10 seconds ago. Basically what I've done is like build a prompt with a bunch of details and then set the size to 960 by 576 mm -hmm. because, well, I can imagine like most in, in most um, situations you want something bigger, like uh, even 4K or 8K, mm -hmm. something nice. But we've noticed really that with generating images, you should start not too big because then you'll get some artifacts that don't make a lot of sense in the images. Right. And that's why we uh, implemented also an upscaling tool. So even in, in generating, you can upscale, wow. um, but we recommend really upscaling, keeping it for the last moment because it will make things a bit slower as well. Right. All right. So we also have the option to upload your own images. And so I can upload, for example, an image that I've created before. And let's say you have this as a background and you want to use it inside of your um, virtual production setup. I want to show you uh, how in-painting works because this is kind of a very fun feature of our tool. And that's like um, the amount of control you have over an image. Yeah. So if I have this image and your director says like, I want this door to be green, for example, you can basically just cut out a piece with the eraser brush. You can bring some pieces back uh, if you got out the mask. <laughs> and then you can say um, here, the top one is um, uh, this button is for in painting. So what you can do here is say, I want uh, a green door. Well, we like to, to start with in painting pretty small, um, like 512 by, let's see, 512 by 567 should do. And then we can generate here uh, another door and you'll soon see the result. It takes a moment because, uh, yeah, in painting is basically just generating a whole uh, new part of the image. So now we have here uh, a green door. 
And well, then you can go to upscaling and you can upscale uh, to eight times. So when you use 960, which is our recommended uh, size, 960 by um, by 576, mm -hmm. and you double it, then you have like a uh, full HD. And then from yep. there on, you can like do four times, eight times, right. this kinds of stuff. So uh, let's say we have this image. As soon as you go to segmentation, it gets split for you into as many segments as it can recognize. And it recognizes um, right. objects, for example. It recognizes oh, the mountains. Okay. And the, okay. I think this last one is even like wow. a mountain top or the sky or something. Then up here, we have a button to like download these segments. Right. And you can like say, I will download them here. The segmentation this, in this image is, is pretty well, actually, because you can see right away you have here the mountains and you have here the sky. And the, the, where the two and a half D really gets uh, useful is um, if we delete these, um, is with these plates on the top. Like here we have plate one and we can, for example, say we want the mountains. And then on plate two, uh, we want the sky. And I can show you this example inside of Unreal Engine. So yeah, yeah. when I have these layers, uh, I, I, yeah, this is the background I got out with in painting. Um, and you mm -hmm. add them to the content drawer. Then setting one as the back, one as the front. And then you already got this. Uh, oh, it's a bit low, this front one. Yeah, I think if you look through the camera here, you can already see, um, yeah, the parallax effect that it creates. And I know a lot of people, like all of these uh, studios yeah, are going to do fantastic. this much better than I am. But uh, yeah, you can already see like it, it does create this really cool effect that you can play a lot with and build up very intensely with all kinds of layers. There are some other options, like for example, uh, related to prompt engineering. There are some ways where you can even use negative prompts or uh, put more weight or so right. on certain prompts and we are soon going to upgrade uh, a lot of uh, features also so there there's a lot to come for uh, also but for the demo this is kind of what i wanted to show if you want to learn more about kubrick visit sayhanley.com if you want to learn more about the people who helped sayhan lee to actually bring kubrick to a virtual production workflow then you can check out xrstudios.live this review of the product was actually brought to you by Supermotion Collective. You can find out more about us, a group of freelancers working in this sector at supermotioncollective.com.